two days, the former Augusta jail will have its Hollywood spotlight, but it's not the first time that parts of Augusta will be featured in big films. Anytime there is a, a movie that is coming to town, there does seem to generate a buzz. The Augusta Richmond County Law Enforcement Center closed back in 2014. Commissioners debated on using it to house the juvenile court system, but that decision was voted down. In fact, city leaders voted to tear it down. For now, though, the LEC will live on through the silver screen. The Film Commission for the City of Augusta uh, has worked for a number of months with a production uh, called El Dorado, and that is all I'm able to say. Due to confidentiality agreements, the film is being coded El Dorado. But according to Production Weekly, the film has been confirmed the working title for Suicide Squad Part 2. In September, Tammy Smith Casting out of Atlanta placed a casting call in Augusta for men and women to play prison guards and prisoners based on different listed qualifications. The costuming and rehearsals for that is currently underway. Filming in the Garden City will take place October 15th through the 16th in Augusta before moving on to Panama in Central America. Organizers believe it will impact Augusta residents who are interested in acting. As Atlanta gets more saturated with more films and more productions, more studios, uh, it's getting more congested. And so the film industry is looking for ways to spill out of Atlanta. Organizers tell us the Georgia Film Incentive has caused a big draw. Where can they do business easily? Where are the locations that meet their needs? And how can they how can they do their business very cost effectively? And so Augusta is beginning to reap some of those rewards. Warner Brothers Entertainment has started filming El Dorado back in September, and it's expected to wrap up January 2020. The movie release date will be in 2021. In Augusta, Autumn Johnson, WJBF News Channel 6.